Hi guys, a very good morning to all of you. I hope you all are doing good and preparing well for the upcoming examinations. I am Gulapsa, your mentor for Finance Current Affairs and I welcome you once again to another session of RBI 247 whereby on a regular basis we discuss the current financial happenings around us. And for today we have these three news articles to be discussed. First, why has the US Federal Reserve increased the interest rate in its economy. Second, we'll talk about why has Bangladesh gone to the IMF in order to take an economic assistance. And thirdly, we'll talk about certain directions, certain instructions issued by RBI to be followed by the commercial banks while preparing the annual financial statement. So let's begin with the very first news. So what is the news? So the news says that recently the US Federal Reserve has increased its policy rate that is the federal fund rate by 50 basis point. So 50 basis points increase kiya hai and the range is now 4.25 to 4.5%. And with this, uh, with this, so why, what is the reason behind why the US Federal Reserve has been increasing the policy rate. We have also seen in the context of India that the Monetary Policy Committee had increased the policy rate that is the repo rate by 35 basis point. The main vanilla answer that everyone would give would be inflation. So in order to control the steep inflation that the US economy is facing, the US Federal Reserve has increased the policy rate. But apart from that, there are other reasons as well. But usko samajhne se pehle, let us first understand the inflation level in the US economy. So agar hum US economy ki baat kare, to unka, jaise for India, we have a target of inflation, which is 4 plus or minus 2 percent. In case of the US, the target, the inflation target for US is just 2 percent. But if we look at the inflation figure for the US economy, the developed economy, in the month of June, it was at 9.1%, which was the highest. And recently, in the month of November, it was around 7.1%. So you can see the vast divergence between what is expected as a target and what they actually have or they are facing in the current scenario. So this reason is that this steep inflation ko control karne ke liye US Fed Reserve ne Apne federal fund rate ko increase kiya hai. Now, what is this federal fund rate? So, it is the rate at which banks can borrow from each other of, for an overnight basis. So, ye is ka main meaning hai. Now, let's move forward and talk about will the Federal Reserve or in that case, the Monetary Policy Committee of RBI will continue with their stance and will further go on increasing the policy rate. So if we talk specifically about the US economy, then in that case, the answer will be yes. Why yes? Because the main reason for the US economy is of the peculiar feature that is having high job vacancy vis-a-vis -vis having a low unemployment. In India, ke case, you will see jobs are not and the unemployment rate is very high. Hoti hai. But if we talk about the US economy, jobs are there. The companies, the, the corporates want people to come and take over that job, but there is low unemployment rate, very low unemployment rate in the US. And because of that, since the companies are demanding people to come and take over the job, there has been an increase in the prices for the people. That is, it has resulted in an increase in the wage prices resulting to wage inflation. Salary logon ki bad rahi hai. And because of that, uh, inflation in the economy has been increasing. Apart from that, there has been a slowdown in the US economy. People are not demanding much. Jiske wajah se inflation dekha ja raha hai and the US Federal Reserve has been hiking on the policy rate. So what is the purpose behind hiking this rate? So the purpose is to discourage the companies, the corporates to take further loans, to take borrowings and use that borrowings to expand more jobs uh, to expand their operations and thereby resulting in more job vacancy. So this is the uh, motive behind the US Fed Reserve. But you will see a contradictory here. If corporates do not take loan, then the economy will be recovery in the economy and that will result in recession, recessionary situation in the US economy. So there are two ways and we need to, the US Fed needs to maintain a balance 
between having stable growth as well as stable inflation in the economy. Apart from that, this, this will also result in discouraging the private consumption so that the prices could be kept at check and inflation could be brought down. Now, reason kya hai? Itna zyada inflation kyun hua? You, you can take it the developing economy, for example, India, and you can also take the developed economy, for that matter, the US. Now, the inflation happened because of the COVID pandemic. Jaha pe the government or the Federal Reserve has been giving or printing out and pumping more money into the economy so that people could be encouraged to take that money and spend on consumption to make an overall demand so that the economy could be boosted. That printing and pumping of money into the financial system has resulted into the inflation because that has led to a decrease in the long-term interest rate. Long-term interest rate kafi kam ho chuka tha and this has resulted in the inflation that we are seeing or isi liye inflation ko control karne ke liye the policy rate will have to be increased from time to time till the time we achieve the stable level of inflation as well as we can boost our growth. Hai? So this are the reason moving forward. So what will be the impact on India? Agar aap financial side se dekhne jao, then in that case, if the US economy increases its policy rate, in that case, the foreign investments that were coming to India will be discouraged to keep their money in India because they are now getting a better rate in their own country or in the US. In that case, people will start demanding their dollar by selling the rupee investment that they have made in India and they will take out that money and move that money to their own country that is the US. In that case, rupee ki jo sell hai wo bad jayegi, rupee sell would increase and that will result to weakening of the rupee because of depreciation. So, rupee ki jis, jitana zyada supply hoga market mein, the rupee will be depreciating. So, ye ek major reason hai, right? So, this is one of the major reason. So, rupee depreciation would happen for the Indian economy. Apart from that, since rupee will be depreciated and we we are an import, we import a lot. So, wo inflation aapke import mein bhi aayega, right? So, that will result in a pressure on the INR, our rupee. And since rupee depreciate hogi, current account deficit hamara, uh, it will become more worse and therefore the RBI will have to intervene into the market so that it could support the rupee and as a result the RBI will have to do two things. So it will have to defend its rupee by making use of the forex reserves at the same time it will also have to increase its policy repo rate so that the foreign investments are attracted enough to make their investment or hold their investment into India. So this will be the impact on the Indian economy. Moving forward to the next news. So the next news says that Bangladesh has reached out to IMF in order to take an economic assistance. So what has gone wrong with the Bangladesh economy? So sabse pehle hum baat karte hain is economic assistance ke baare mein. So it was in the month of November 2022 when Bangladesh received an economic assistance worth Rupees 4.5 uh, dollar 4.5 billion from the IMF, and that's that will be provided into seven installments till December 2026. And with this, Bangladesh has become the third South Asian country to have got a bailout package from the IMF. So, this Now, why is this package provided? Because the Bangladesh economy that was trying to recover from the COVID pandemic could not do so because of the ongoing war in the Russia-Ukraine area. Jiske wajah se unki jo recovery thi wo interrupt ho gai and therefore that resulted in a sharp widening of its current account deficit. Unki current account deficit badne lagi because as we know that Bangladesh is an export oriented country country and since people reduce their demand for the goods they were unable to make exports and as at the same time whatever they were importing they were actually importing inflation with it because of the uh, war between Russia and Ukraine 
इसके अलावा देर वॉज अ रैपिड डिक्लाइन ऑफ द फॉरेक्स रिजर्व बिकॉज ऑफ द हाई करंट अकाउंट डेफिशिट द देवर फेसिंग एंड राइजिंग इन्फ्लेशन एंड स्लोइंग ग्रोथ सो दिस वॉज द रीजन और इन ऑर्डर टू बूस्ट अप देर इकोनॉमिक रिकवरी दे हैव टेकन अ बेल आउट पैकेज फ्रॉम द आई एम एफ मूविंग फॉरवर्ड एंड टॉकिंग अबाउट वट हैज गॉन रॉन्ग विद द बांग्लादेश इकोनॉमी तो यहाँ पे सबसे पहले it has been written that they have given a comparison whereby they have said that unlike all other countries including india that whose gdp contracted during the pandemic period it was the it was bangladesh that actually grew during the pandemic period as well for instance in the year 2020 their gdp grew by around 3% again in the year 2021 it grew about by 6.97% and in the current year that is 2022 it is expected or it is growing at an expected rate of 7.2% so if the bangladesh economy was performing well gdp unki bad rahi thi so kya unko need pada that they had to go to imf in order to secure that bailout package so the problem for the bangladesh economy was nothing but the russian invasion of ukraine सो जब रशिया यूक्रेन वॉर स्टार्टेड सो पीपल ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड उनकी डिमांड कम हो गई देर वॉज अ स्लो डाउन बिकॉज इन्फ्लेशन ऑल्सो इंक्रीज ड्यू टू द कोविड ईजी लिक्विडिटी जो मार्केट में फ्लो कर रही थी उसकी वजह से ऑलरेडी इन्फ्लेशन वॉज वेरी हाई राइट एंड बिकॉज ऑफ द इन्फ्लेशन दट स्पाइक टू अनकम्फर्टेबल लेवल्स वॉट एवर इम्पोर्ट दैट बांग्लादेश दट ऑल बिकेम कॉस्टलियर इंक्लूडिंग द क्रूड ऑयल crude oil as you all know is a raw material that is used in the production of all goods and services ab jab raw material hi mehangi ho gayi that means the final price of the goods and services will also become costly right to wo bhi costly ho gaya and that also resulted in importing of inflation from the uh, other country so inflation globally was high but since you are importing goods you are actually importing more inflation into the economy which means second round effect of inflation aap face kar rahe the right so uh, bangladesh was also facing this second round effect of inflation apart from that their current account balance also went into a deficit two reasons first reason is that it is an export oriented country but since there was a lower demand overall so they could not export more and second since there were high inflation and the commodity prices the import prices went high that resulted in worsening of the current account deficit that bangladesh was already having and all of these factors resulted in weakening of the taka for two reasons again first because of the surge in us dollar as the us fed tried increasing its federal rate uh, dollar became more stronger jiske wajah se taka weak hua and secondly worsening of the current account deficit current account deficit bahut zyada unki badh rahi thi jiske wajah se they had to draw down on their reserves and therefore their forex reserves also depleted and the volume was around 1/4 of its valuation so around 1/4 that is 25% decline they faced in their forex reserves so i hope this is clear to you now let's talk about how imf imf jo bail de rahi hai bangladesh ko how it is going to help the bangladesh economy so apart from helping the bangladesh economy uh to uh, apart from helping the bangladesh economy to recover from the economic disruptions caused by the russia ukraine war and uh, acting as a cushion for the ongoing war and also managing the macro economic risk posed by the climate change it is also going to help the bangladesh economy in maintaining and having a better economy how first and foremost is the regulatory aspects so since imf will also provide with certain guidelines to the bangladesh that will strengthen the financial sector of bangladesh enhancing governance and regulatory aspects iske alawa it is also it will also create an additional fiscal space through higher revenue mobilization and rationalization of the expenditure which means that the bangladesh government will now make use of this money to spend on certain targeted social programs which will help in developing the economy in boosting up the standard of living of the people of that economy theek hai iske alawa it will also help in boosting the growth potential 
कैसे बाय एंकरेजिंग मोर एक्सपोर्ट्स क्रिएटिंग मोर डिमांड इन द इकोनॉमी बी इट इन द डोमेस्टिक इकोनॉमी एज वेल एज इन द इंटरनेशनल इकोनॉमी एज वेल एज अट्रैक्टिंग मोर ऑफ फॉरेन डायरेक्ट इन्वेस्टमेंट्स इनटू यूएस सॉरी इनटू द बांग्लादेश एंड फाइनली इट विल आल्सो आईएमएफ विल आल्सो हेल्प बांग्लादेश इन स्ट्रेंथनिंग द इंस्टीट्यूशन सो दैट इट कुड create an enabling environment and a conducive environment so that they can meet their climate change objective so climate ki wajah se bhi bangladesh mein bahut zyada macro economic stability kharab hui hai so if they work upon their climate change objectives then they can also move from being a least developed least developing economy to a middle income economy so these are the ways through which this assistance that has been provided by imf will help bangladesh in recovering from the covid as well as in having a stable macro economic condition in their country so i hope aapko bangladesh uh, wala bhi aapko clear ho gaya hoga now this article came up in the indian express so i thought of expressing so i thought of explaining this to you apart from that last news that we need to talk about is regarding certain instructions that rbi has given to the commercial banks uh, which they need to follow while preparing their annual financial statements so if we talk about the applicability this direction will apply to all commercial banks and will come into effect from uh, for the disclosure in the notes from for the year ending 31st march 2023 so next year 31st march 2023 onwards jo bhi annual financial statements that will be prepared by the commercial banks need to follow this disclosure no so rbi has put forward certain instructions whereby it has said that kuch aise instructions hain that you need to follow and how are you going to follow it by disclosing it in the notes to accounts theek hai now certain a uh, facts about the annual financial statements as to how the commercial banks are required to prepare first and foremost the annual financial statements that are prepared by the commercial banks should be prepared as per the third schedule of the banking regulation act 1949 so banking regulation act ke andar schedule 3 diya hua hai again you should not get confused Here with the Companies Act, यहाँ पे आपको Banking Regulation Act के द्वारा third schedule है उसके according you need to prepare the annual financial statement. Apart from that, the commercial banks are also instructed to ensure that strict compliance with the accounting standards are followed. That is, accounting standards that are notified under the Companies Accounting Standard Rules 2006, which will which has been amended from time to time. इसको follow करके accounting standards आपको follow करने हैं. right apart from that there is also one statement in this very direction which says which says that uh, which says that rbi encourages the commercial banks to disclose or to have more comprehensive disclosures than what is minimum required under the directions and because especially if such disclosures are significantly helping in understanding the financial performance and financial a uh, position so it means that if any information any disclosure that will help the stakeholders in better understanding of the annual financial statement should be provided or should be provided by the commercial banks theek hai ab hum baat karte hain what are the instructions that are being given by rbi with respect to the annual financial statements so rbi has notified that any miscellaneous income so any miscellaneous income that comes under other income agar other income ke andar koi bhi miscellaneous income aa rahi hai and if that miscellaneous income exceeds 1% 1% of the total income right so if rupees 100 if 100 let's say just 100 is the total income and if certain miscellaneous income exceeds rupee 1 then in that case such miscellaneous income should be disclosed in the notes to account should be given in the notes to account to this financial statement theek hai iske alawa similarly if certain expenditure ab yahan pe you can see expenditure if certain expenditure uh, if any certain expenditure coming under operating expenses under schedule 16 and if such expenditure exceeds 1% of the total expenditure 1% of the total expenditure in that case again 
सच एक्सपेंडिचर शुड बी डिस्कलोज इन दी नोट टू अकाउंट सिंपल है बस ये बताया गया है एनी मिसिलेनियस इनकम एनी मिसिलेनियस एक्सपेंडिचर बट इफ दैट मिसिलेनियस इनकम एंड एक्सपेंडिचर एक्सीड्स वन परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल इन दैट केस सच इंफॉर्मेशन विल बी कंसिडर्ड टू बी मटीरियल एंड शुड बी डिस्कलोज इन टू दी एनुअल शुड बी डिस्कलोज इन दी नोट टू अकाउंट मूविंग फॉरवर्ड एंड टॉकिंग अबाउट for the financial position that is the balance sheet similarly in that case in order to have greater transparency rbi has instructed that any uh, any other liabilities and provision or any other assets and whose value exceeds 1% of the total then in that case such information should also be disclosed in the notes to account similarly for the payments banks they are required to disclose any income and if that income exceeds 1% again of the total income and such income should be disclosed under schedule 14 other income commission exchange and brokerage then such information should be provided in the notes to account to ye simple si instruction hai jo rbi ne issue kiye hain for the commercial banks so i hope aapko samajh aa gaya hoga and if you uh, want to get uh, the daily quizzes as well as proper strategies and the past year papers all of these could be availed by downloading this app on the google play store to anuj jindal app ko aap download kar sakte ho moving forward with the questions so the first question that we have for today states that recently the us federal reserve hiked its federal fund rate by 50 basis point so which of the following will not be a likely impact on developing countries like india कौन सा इनमें से लाइकली इम्पैक्ट नहीं होगा फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इट विल रिजल्ट इन अप्रिसिएशन ऑफ द रुपी नहीं ये बिल्कुल नहीं होगा बिकॉज इफ द फेडरल रिजर्व इज इंक्रीजिंग द रेट देन पीपल विल बी टेकिंग आउट द मनी विच विल रिजल्ट इन डेप्रिसिएशन ऑफ द रुपी सेकेंड इट विल नॉट रिजल्ट इन अट्रैक्टिंग मोर फॉरन इन्वेस्टमेंट ठीक है ये राइट right? uh, सही बात है बिल्कुल इट विल नॉट अट्रैक्ट पीपल बिकॉज पीपल विल नाउ बी अट्रैक्टेड टू इन्वेस्ट इन द यूएस एंड थर्ड आर बी आई विल नॉट हाइक इट्स पॉलिसी रेट एज इंडिया विल ऑलरेडी बी गेटिंग मोर फॉरन इन्वेस्टमेंट दैट इज रॉन्ग आर बी आई विल हैव टू हाइक इट्स पॉलिसी रेट इन ऑर्डर टू प्रिजर्व और इन ऑर्डर टू मेक दिस फॉरन इन्वेस्टर्स रिमेन अट्रैक्टेड टू द इंडियन इकोनॉमी और टू द इंडियन ग्रोथ प्रोस्पेक्ट तो ये भी हमारा गलत है सो वन इन थ्री ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन मूविंग फॉरवर्ड टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच से विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज आर द लाइकली रीजन दैट इज रिजल्टिंग इन इंक्रीजिंग द फेडरल रेट हाइक बाय द यूएस so first option c is slow down in the us economy bilkul sahi second higher job vacancy yes people are borrowing and because of that borrowing people are actually expanding their operations and therefore we have seen a higher job vacancy in the us and third higher unemployment rate in the us this is very wrong as we have studied there has been a 50 year low unemployment rate in the us so the correct answer here would be option a 1 and 2 and finally the last question that we have for today which says which of the following instructions of rbi are to be followed by commercial banks while preparing the annual financial statements first it should be prepared as per the third schedule of the companies act 2013 no it should be prepared as per the third schedule of the banking regulation act of 1949 second commercial banks should ensure strict compliance with the accounting standards notified under the banking regulation act of 1949 nahi under the companies act or the companies rule third any miscellaneous income that comes under the head schedule 14 other income and exceeds 5% of the total income then such item should be considered material and should be disclosed in the notes to account again this is wrong because it should exceed 1% agar 1% se upar exceed karta hai in that case it will be considered as a material information to so, teeno statements galat hain so which of the following is uh, are the instructions to be followed none of the above and therefore option d is the correct answer again the answers are provided to you over here in case if you have any doubt you can reach to us through the discussion forum for the enrolled students and also through this number right 
four double six double two five. So this was all for today. I hope you enjoyed the session, and take care. Bye bye.